thank you for joining over here now here we are going to learn how to create the custom function so let me just give you the problem statement first so what exactly happens is let's say we are creating a date, dummy data okay over so just to explain the problem statement i'm creating a dummy data now in this i want to have a variable called you know find sum right and over here if you have to find the sum of this number and this number right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use sum function right this is how you can use the sum function and now then what you can do is you can just simply do a run statement all right now when you do this run here is what you get you see this has been summed up now you see here we already had a function which is provided by sas now what if we want to have our own function created instead of using the sas defined function or maybe there could be some operation which for which we don't have a sum function oh sorry a sas function available for example finding the product of two numbers right so what if we want to achieve that how can we do that right so for that that's 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 where this custom function creation comes into the picture now i'm going to explain you step by step the thing which i'm the step which i'm going to explain over here it's will be something which can be used permanently right so for example let's say first of all i will define a library where i would like to store my functions right so i will say this library called my func okay and for that the location which i'm going to give is this one custom function okay i'm going to take the location of this in this folder i will be storing all of my custom functions whatever i'm going to create all right and let me just run this over here this is done now after that i need to use this procedure which is called proc fcmp that is it and after that you need to provide the outlib parameter which means you are simply saying where you want to output your function okay so for that i want to put it in my func now usually when we use uh, the libraries followed uh, i mean just after the library we need to provide the table name similar thing happens over here also library name i have given then i need to provide the uh, another name here instead of saying table we say it catalog okay so here i'm going to say it uh, let's say what exactly testing func testing func okay now here the third arg uh, i mean third segment of this it takes three segment one is library then the catalog and then another package also it require right you can't have it stopped in two segment only right so here what i'll do is i'm going to say you know uh, study let's say study func so here i'm creating a uh, something called study func this has not this doesn't have much meaning it's just i'm giving it whatever you want you can give it now after that i need to use the function parameter and here i need to provide the name of my function so for example here i'm going to create uh, you know su custom sum right so i'm going to say custom sum and which will require here i'm going to keep it simple so i'll just pass two parameters which is x and y right so this is what i'm telling sas create a function which is called custom sum and allow it to accept two parameters two values right now once i said that i also need to tell what exactly that i want to do with supplied numbers or parameters right so for that what i want to do is i want to find sum of that x and y i want to find sum of that and then i want to return that return z right and then because we have started this one so we need to end that so i would say end sub after that just run this okay now let's just try to run it i just misspelled it okay now let me just try to run it and see if there's any problem okay oh it's not retain it should be return i misspelled it again return all right now let me just try to run this again here's what i got it shows some sort of you know warning let's see if that is something which we need to worry about currently custom for cost sum was defined previously is there anything which i'm saying cost sum 
okay let it be so some other function which i have defined for which it is talking about right that it is also doing the similar thing so which will keep on performing the similar thing let's just try if this is going to work right now again i'll create another data frames i'm going to give it name testing and here i'm going to say find sum and this time i'm going to use custom sum and in this i'm going to supply these all numbers okay let me keep it simple first uh, 5 comma 6 and then let's just run this but before this we need to provide one uh, you know parameter which is which comes with options and that comes as cmp lib which means compile library and for the compilation you just need to provide these two things one is library where your function is stored and then the catalog in which your function is stored that is it not all the three things you need to provide okay now after this you just execute it now what you see over here is 11 which means your function has worked well right you see 5 and 6 11 let's try to create another function if that works function and custom custom product product okay and now here i'm going to say a comma b and a comma b you can you can stop the video if you have already understood and you know you can just uh, try yourself if it is if you find it going longer okay so now over here i'm going to say c equals to a multiplied by b all right and then i'm going to say return return c all right and then end sub end sub okay this is done and over here i'm going to create another parameter uh, another uh, variable which i would say find product equals to i'm going to say custom product custom product and in this again i'm going to keep 5 comma 6 so here i'm trying to find the multiplication multiplication of it okay let's just see if it gives the error or what exactly happens okay so it has executed now i'm going to check out the testing funk okay now let's just see here testing right all right so it just worked find sum is 11 find product is 30. now once this is done whenever you want to use this you just need to do three things right first you call the you assign the library same library and then you call this option this these two things after that you can easily call all of the functions if you want to try if you want me to try this then just let me know into the comment section i'll create another video or maybe or, or just let's just try it very very quickly okay let me just see here i have this library i'm going to assign this over here uh lib name la i'm just going to say it which is nothing but learn area okay and into this let me just put this library names i think it's not it was not copied okay i'm just going to copy it again and i will come back over here and let me just put it right over here this is assigned now let's just see what all are the tables that we have inside it okay let's go into the libraries inside this we must have a la library and here i have something called cars sample right let's let me just show you the data hmm? so here we this is what i have got over here right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply msrp with weightage right using the custom function let's just try that so here i'm going to use data final set la dot cars sample right and over here find sum i'm going to find the sum of custom sum inside that i'm going to use msrp comma let me check out the name again w-e-i-t-a-g-e weightage weightage all right let's just run this this one boom let's just see if that has been created oh it has been created isn't it yeah so you can use this function 
in whatever data steps you want it's just in the very beginning you don't forget to put this thing these two things even if you utilize this you assign this you run these two things in one session that's gonna work for all of the data steps right but just don't forget to use these two parts right and after that you will be able to use your custom function let me know into the comment section how did you find it whether it was simple for you to understand whether it was useful for you to um, you know watch it or what right let me know your thoughts into the comment section if you find it useful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks once again for watching it wish you